Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark, I'm Jim. I just watched a 2024 film called Frankenstein Legacy, one hour and 41 minutes. Uh, this is set in like the old timey days in England. Uh, it's a drama thriller, not a lot of horror in this. Um, uh, I was kind of hoping for some horror elements with the, you know, Frankenstein lore, but it's an interesting story. Uh, it goes a little bit like this. In England, 1875, a century after Victor Frankenstein's doomed experiment, his journals have traded hands for decades. And it's really neat, the opening sequence of showing uh, the opening credits uh, and, uh, you know, behind the overlay of the lettering, you, you can see like how this um, journal, Dr. Frankenstein's notes, have traveled through uh, the hands of different people for nefarious reasons. And even some of those people had experiments that they were trying to do, create life and how they went wrong as well. So it kind of creates this really interesting dynamic of that there's this history of creatures, uh, monsters or what, whatever, uh, that had been created over uh, you know, the span of 100 years and whatnot. And um, we, after the uh, credits were brought into the 1890. So <clears throat> they show like this really neat um, span of time very quickly, which is really kind of cool. So we have Michelle Ryan playing Lady Charlotte. Katie Sheridan plays Clara Browning. Philip Martin Brown plays Robert Browning. Matt Barber plays billy browning and there are a bunch of other characters one of note is jonathan hansler who plays the character brahmings and then there's also andrew mcgillan plays victor frankenstein but it's very uh short lived then we have juliet aubrey who plays millicent and that would be our pretty main character and then there's also a nurse african-american nurse uh so at the time i think they were kind of touching on the the taboo nature of uh blacks and whites working together in a hospital setting uh because there are some scenes that take place so that's alexandra afria and she played liza there's a lot of nods in these names to uh the old universal things uh browning in particular when i saw the character's name last names were browning i was like why, why does that keep sounding so familiar and um browning was the uh director of dracula and then freaks uh todd browning so i don't know if that was a purposeful like nod to that uh it was dracula so i don't know um why but um so we're in the 1890s. It does get very slow. This movie is very kind of thriller and drama. Uh, so when you go into this movie, which is not a bad movie, just be prepared for the pacing of that you're watching a drama, not a horror movie. Horror is not listed in this, uh, although the topic is classically something that you would associate with uh, horror. Uh, so that I was not prepared for because I didn't realize I, a lot of times I see a movie available and I just jump on it. Uh, this is on Vudu, Prime, and Apple, by the way. I watched it on Prime because uh, we have a Prime account, so that's pretty cool. Uh, super slow story. I kind of condensed uh, my notes here with Papa Browning is terminal, his wife is a scientist and she's trying to come up with a cure we spend a lot of time with that scenario uh and then the papa dies and it's kind of suspicious like he dies but he's been terminal so nobody really thinks anything of it uh and mama browning uh begins to start doing mad scientist stuff in the basement and she actually even finds another location that's not far from their their big huge mansion like you know when you watch movies that are timepieces like this. Everybody has like these big castles. Um, so the son 
is a doctor at uh, the hospital and the doctor um, doesn't really know what's going on with his mom being like this mad scientist whose real intent is, is love. She's heartbroken, blah, blah, blah. Uh, she just wants her husband to not be terminal. Uh, but then he suspiciously passes away. Uh, this is where we meet Lisa, Liza. Um, she is the nurse that's working in the hospital and has some interactions with um, the son and uh, William, and he's a doctor. So there's like these weird little tension moments, like the sexual tension, kind of flirtatiousness. But, you know, it's kind of like she's not used to it. She thinks that he's being like arrogant and whatever. He's actually like the most decent character of all of the ones in the movie. Um, there's a sister in this as well, Clara. She's kind of um, in and out of the movie. Like it's weird what role she had in this. It's kind of like they, they really focus more on the mother father uh, story first, and then it kind of evolves into the son, William and Liza. Now, Liza has a father who's in this hospital. It's the asylum, by the way. I keep calling it a hospital, but it's an asylum. Her father's in there. And it's not public knowledge that she is the, the daughter of the patient. Uh, otherwise, there probably would be like ethical issues or whatever. Uh, so that's kind of kept under wraps until that guy also uh, passes away. And then we have traditional Frankenstein lore. We have some grave robbing happening. Oh, what's going on? Who's stealing graves? Oh, well, grave robbing happens all the time. Uh, and they even allude to that some of the grave robbing happens because people want to eat. Uh, it's not always just to steal um, the clothes or the jewelry. Sometimes it's to eat. Uh, so Liza, Lisa, and William decide that they're going to figure out who's doing the grave robbings uh, because it was each of their fathers. And it kind of develops their story a little bit more. And they are unknowingly about to uncover who is responsible for the grave robbings and or why. Because if it's any surprise, Mama Cuckoo Browning has acquired the notebook. She is in possession of Frankenstein's uh, journal with all of the secrets and uh, body parts start piling up um, and she does her stuff. There's some good effects. There's uh, the Papa Browning, Robert Browning, uh, his transformation appearance is good. It's, it's not, you know, like the traditional old school universal uh, monster look. It's more of like the Robert De Niro, um, more of the modern takes on, on the Frankenstein where you can definitely see the stitching and, and the, and the different, uh, the definite differences in the body parts and the coloring of the, of the skin and things like that. So it was kind of an interesting, uh, take on that. Um, but overall it's just, again, um, the movie definitely has some meritable no moments, uh, and there are some like Easter egg type stuff. The story is decent. It's just, it's a drama. So you, you, the pacing is just, again, uh, not the best. At the end of the movie, during that, you know, final act, we have traditional villagers with, uh, the, the, the lit torches and things chasing the newest creature. Um, and then the whole reveal, uh, but none of it is like secret. Like while I'm trying to maintain that this is a spoiler free review, the story is so blatantly, you know, there it's, it's not hard to follow. There are no like twists or secrets or, um, anything like that. And that's probably why the movie felt also a little long. I mean, it is an hour and 40 something minutes. It's probably a good 10 or 15 minutes too long. Um, some of that story building at the beginning wasn't really necessary, uh, in my opinion. Um, but uh, 
the only real criticism that I have, other than the pacing, uh, which really isn't a criticism because it's a drama, so it's, it's fitting. The pacing is fitting for the genre of movie that it is. But the music seemed to be very generic and uh, not necessarily fitting all the time. Uh, that would be like a minor criticism. Uh, Filming-wise, filming techniques and, and locations and, and crisp, clear picture. Uh, audio is great. I could hear all the characters. Um, all the actors and actresses have clear dialogue, and it's very, very good. Visually, all these timepieces uh, are good and uh, really, really kind of interesting. And... They do kind of hint at uh, the diary didn't get destroyed. <laughs> the monster may or may not have, um, and Mama Cuckoo Brownie may or may not have, but that the you definitely know that the journal didn't get destroyed. Maybe that is a spoiler. I don't know. It's kind of like an end credit -y type thing. Um, but yeah, if you uh, have a chance and you just want to watch like a slow-paced drama, that has a uh, horror theme to it, you know, the lore of Frankenstein. Uh, check out Frankenstein Legacy. It's brand new. It's on Vudu, Prime, and Apple. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the like and maybe even consider subscribing. And have a great day. Row 18, plot 20. <laughs> Thank you.